Welcome everyone. Today we're going to be talking about a game which has taken the internet by storm, broken viewership records and is now the number one game on Steam and this game is called Rust. Now before we talk about how this game managed to go from 0 to 100 in such a short period of time, let's go over a very quick history lesson on what Rust is and when this game launched. I just want to say it's crazy. A game that started out in 2013 has only just hit its peak in viewership. After around seven years, this game is now getting the recognition it deserves and that just goes to show there is a glimmer of hope for any game out there to just completely blow up after many years. Currently the game is only available on Steam however the game was meant to release on consoles last year it was officially confirmed with a PlayStation teaser trailer as well but they announced recently that the game had to be delayed to this year and with the game already receiving an ESRB rating of M for Mature that means the game has already been assessed for public launch and we should expect Rust to come out on consoles within the next few months. As always, I'll keep you guys updated on the console launch. It's very exciting. Me as a console player, I cannot wait for this game to hit consoles and it's just going to increase the traffic and drive this game has already received from PC players. So Rust is a multiplayer only game where you have to survive the wilderness using gathered materials or stolen materials. You have to manage things such as your hunger, your thirst or you can risk dying. Despite there being different types of dangerous animals such as bears and wolves, the most dangerous thing in Rust are going to be other enemy players because they can attack you at any time or you can even attack them and it creates a very big trust issue within a Rust server. From crafting to building to using vehicles, weapons, this game is one of the biggest open world survival games. If there's one game we can compare this to, it's a more mature version of Minecraft. Instead of fighting off these infected zombies, you're fighting off half-naked men. <laughs> so unlike Among Us, which also fully launched in 2018, this game had somewhat of a following and somewhat of a community already. But what caused this game to have an absolute huge spike this year? Well, let's find out. So if we take a look here at the Steam charts, this shows an accurate representation of when exactly the game started picking up. So if we go on all time, since the game very first launched back in 2013, as you guys can see, there has been a very consistent player base of around 20,000 up to sometimes 50, 60,000. But only recently in the past month, you guys can see that massive green spike, which is present time. And they recently hit their record of 243,988 players all on the game in one time. And let's remember, this is only on Steam. The game hasn't even released on consoles yet. So can you imagine when this game launches on console? You absolutely love to see it. I love it when games that came out many years ago get this massive revive and all of a sudden start gaining crazy popularity. And it just goes to show there's always a glimpse of hope for games that are many years old that haven't yet received the recognition they deserve. They could blow up. Your favorite game that you've been playing for many years could blow up out of nowhere. Unless you're playing, I don't know, Tetris or something. <laughs> it's the beginning of January when this game starts taking off. Around the 7th to 8th of January, we start seeing that rise in player counts. Now, the reason why we've seen a massive uptick in players and also viewers towards the end of December, beginning of January, is because around 50 streamers created a private server on Rust. And we're talking about the biggest streamers over on Twitch and also YouTube as well. Names such as Shroud, Myth, Valkyrie, Pokimane, streamers that can pull in thousands and thousands of viewers. I believe it was Valkyrie which actually started this Rust server and it started in the end of December and even now the big streamers are still playing on a server together. When you have 50 of the biggest streamers streaming a game to millions and millions of people over on Twitch, you're going to get any game blow up. Many people wonder how powerful a streamer is when it comes to a success of a game. Can streamers blow up games? And I think we've had the question answered for us right here. Now if it was only a couple big streamers streaming Rust then I don't think the game would have blown up as much but when you've got around 50 of the biggest streamers any game will blow up if you put these streamers on another game it's going to have a massive peak but rust was already very well known and the fact that these big streamers have come on board and have been streaming this game for the last couple of weeks it's just made the game go from zero to a hundred this is the same thing that happened to among us a big streamer started streaming it and it blew up out of nowhere and even now among us is holding a very strong community people are still streaming it people are still playing it and the game is far from dying and I think Rust is 
going to be in a similar position. As long as Rust can maintain this growth and take advantage of their huge spike in growth, they're going to do very well. And they have actually taken advantage of this huge spike in growth because they've recently brought out Twitch drops, which means if you watch Twitch streamers, you have a chance of winning in-game cosmetics such as free skins. So they're definitely on board and they understand how big their game is growing right now. And there is no better time to release this game on consoles than right now, bearing in mind the game is being talked about all over the place. But now that we've seen when this game started to grow and when streamers started streaming this game, it's very clear that the reason why this game has grown so much and blown up is purely because of the streamers themselves. The amount of streamers that got together and played this game all on one server. And that just goes to show the power streamers have to make video games blow up. I'm going to wrap this video up here. Thank you all for watching this video. If you enjoyed, be sure to scroll down, click that like button. Be sure to subscribe for all things gaming related on the channel so you don't miss out on any videos. And yeah, I'm going to wrap this video up here. Thank you all for watching. Take care.